<sighs> okay. Employees at Acadia National Park are pretty busy right now preparing for the summer season, which will get here eventually. Yeah, this year they're more behind on preparations than normal, though. Our Hannah Deneen is here to explain why. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Lee and Sharon. Good morning, everyone. During the federal government shutdown in December and January, the longest in U.S. history, national parks across the country lost significant planning and hiring time. Acadia is still feeling the shutdown's effects as it prepares to welcome summer visitors. You can't lose 10% of the year and not have an impact. The impact of the 35-day government shutdown is still being felt at Acadia National Park. What we've had to do is just constantly reprioritize what we're doing. Top priority at the park, preparing for this year's summer visitors, all three and a half million of them. We've made hiring seasonals, opening facilities and opening roads are really high priority so that when people come to the park, they have the best possible experience they can have. With the time crunch, the park is putting less focus on long-term projects. Some of our planning efforts, some of the things that happen behind the scenes, we've pushed off or put on a longer time frame. Research and monitoring, addressing deferred maintenance, things that aren't short-term but are long-term objectives and long-term work, that kind of stuff is being pushed further back. The president of the nonprofit group Friends of Acadia recently spoke to Maine's elected officials in Washington, D.C. about the various impacts of the shutdown. They're very concerned about the short-term impacts of the shutdown, economic impacts, but they're also reminded that the parks are here forever. Unlike most businesses or enterprises, their mission is to take care of the resource in a way that will be here in perpetuity. So while summer 2019 visitors will experience business as usual. I think the vast majority in the short term will be welcomed. They'll be full. They'll, be, they'll have a great experience. Concern lingers over the visitors of years to come. It's the longer term that we worry about. Park Loop Road and Hulls Cove Visitor Center were supposed to open up today. Unfortunately, the openings have been delayed, not because of the shutdown, but rather because of the recent snowy weather we've had. And Lee and Sharon, while that delay may come as a disappointment to some of us, it's actually a great thing for the staff there because it gives them a bit more time to make those very necessary hires and uh, preparing their summer programming. All right, Hannah, thank you very much for that. Summertime can't get here soon enough.